Thus begins the Lindy Walk, the best way to explore a city that you're not really familiar with. Although I've been here before, I've not really explored very much, so here I go. The idea is I just walk around in any direction that takes my fancy and then see what happens, see what I see. No particular direction. A traditional and Lindy way of exploring a new place. So I hope you enjoy. Just sat in that park for five minutes and I've got mean bites. Ugh. I want to go down there. I'm going to have to jaywalk. I should probably explain what I mean by a Lindy walk. The idea derives from the concept of the Lindy effect, coined by Nassim Nicholas Taleb. And the Lindy walk came from writer Paul Scalas, also known on Substack as the Lindy Man. The Lindy effect is a heuristic, an aid in decision making that values above all else long term survival, says Scalas. Lindy exists chiefly for your protection for risk survival strategies in the modern world. The modern world we live in is an incredible project. Living as an individual today, you get bombarded by new things all the time. New products, new academic disciplines, new books, new technologies, new foods, new living arrangements, new theories on life, new postures. The entire modern world is about how do we handle living in an environment that is not at all comparable to the ancestral environment we emerged from. It's a weird time in human history. So. How does the modern person navigate this minefield? One tool at your disposal is recognition of the Lindy effect. The more an idea has been around without being falsified, the longer its future life expectancy, says Taleb. The things that Lindy approves of have been shown to be successful for a long period of time, resilient against changing culture and trends. Remind yourself that we don't know what things that have not lasted for a long time will do to us. So a cup of tea is Lindy, whilst mouthwash is not. Walking is Lindy. It was a common practice in ancient Rome. All the great geniuses couldn't live without it. One of the components of a Lindy walk is there is no end point or goal. You walk to walk. You are not really sure where you'll end up. A Lindy walker is someone who, unlike a tourist, makes a decision opportunistically at every step to revise his destination so he can imbibe things based on new information obtained. Something that might happen if you decide to do your own Lindy walk is that it will put your mind into a different thinking state. You look at things more broadly, you think more creatively, and things will just come to you. Memories, ideas, anything really. It gets oxygen moving to the brain. But the biggest reason to do this in a foreign city is to avoid doing exactly what every other tourist does. You end up following the same route, seeing the same places, without thoroughly absorbing that place as a place. You can go to London and have a good time visiting Buckingham Palace, the Tower of London, the London Eye, but it's wrong to say that you have properly understood what London is in distinction to other places. You have yet to discover the city's soul. It started raining and I'm at a crossroads. Where do I go? The only rule is I have to go where I feel like going. And the answer is down there.
你好 ，Hello。So, TLDR, I'm walking randomly in Shanghai in hope to see the true Shanghai.